something to talk about. Let's give them something to talk about. How about love, love, love? Woo. Let me just talk about some random stuff, you know, reality TV and stuff. Okay. I've been, you know, waiting to see the season premiere of Love and Hip Hop, and I finally seen it. And um, I also heard The Breakfast Club on Power 105 won um, their interview with Jocelyn and Stevie J. So, this is basically kind of like all surrounded by Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, but it's like different topics of it. I'm not doing a review on the, premiere, uh, the season premiere. I'm going to just mention some stuff that happened into it. Give me a minute. But, I ain't getting the memo on this. Maybe everybody else know in the world. I don't really read blogs that much. You know what I'm saying? Unless somebody posts something on Facebook that seems like it'll be interesting to read. Or unless it's Funky Geneva blog. That's the only blog. Or, or um, Brian B. I follow him on Tumblr and everything. As well as my girl Tatiana Mercedes. So, you know, them the only, thing I re only things I read. And most of the time it has nothing to do with reality TV. So, anyways. Okay. On... My um on my um Facebook they had the interview with Stevie J and Jocelyn and you know DJ Envy, uh Angela Yee and Charlemagne the God from Power 105. So anyways, you know, Charlemagne the God, I understand where he was coming from. He never got the interview, Jocelyn, you know, and Charlemagne the God is just Charlemagne the God. So he was like just asking her, was she a man straight up? You know, just you know, whatever questions that he wanted to ask and he has in his mind that until she show her vagina, then he'll be that she's a woman so anyways I clocked two things in this interview y'all two things and maybe I didn't like I said maybe the whole world know it I just didn't get in the memo you know ain't nobody called me and told me nothing you feel me that type of thing but um Mimi and Jocelyn and Stevie J is fucking each other you know what I'm saying I could you know I came up to that conclusion after watching that interview okay first thing he said do Mimi think you, you're a man? And Jocelyn was like, no. She know I'm not a man. And Stevie J was like, she definitely knows she's not a man. Okay. That's one thing I clock. Second thing. <laughs> Second thing. They asked, did them, him, Mimi, and Jocelyn have a threesome before? It, they hesitated on answering the question. Jocelyn was like, um... You told them that, Stevie J, or you got to watch the show, or whatever. Like I said, I'm going to put the link below of the interview in the info box. So, on that interview, I just came to the conclusion that they're fucking, they might not be fucking now, but they done fucked in the past. They done had a threesome in the past. Jocelyn done ate a pussy, and Mimi obviously ate hers too, and that's why they put up with each other. Mimi knows that Jocelyn's stronger than her as well. That's why she don't fuck with her. On the first um, premiere of The Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, Mimi, <laughs> girl, why did you go off on CBJ? The bitch you should have went off on is Jocelyn. The bitch is in your face. She's not low-key dissing you. She's not throwing shade. Bitch, she here with you. In your face, tan. Hi, mate. Bitch, I would have I would have mopped the flow with her ass. I would have did my motherfucking job if I was a maid. I would have mopped the flow with her ass. I would have, you know, you know, dust the bitch off. What, whatever. You know what I'm saying? She just went ballistic after Jocelyn left on Stevie J. What kind of shit is that? What kind of shit is that? And then you allow this man to do this to you. Now, let me tell you something. People always say someone don't have room to talk about no one. And I might not have room to talk about anybody in this world because I have my flaws. But being that I'm human, I talk about bitches. You feel me? So, what I'm saying is, you know how this man is. This man showed you who he uh, he is. I'm, I was to the point with my ex. I was to the point to now I know how he is. I can't accept that. I'm done. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that I broke up with, I chose me first. I was done. I left that shit. I couldn't take it. Cheating, couldn't take it. You know what I'm saying? So, you've been through that. You, you with, with Stevie J, throughout y'all 15 year friendship, because I can't say y'all been together for 15 years. Y'all just know each other for 15 years. You know how bitches be like, you know, we've been together for this. No, you just know each other. So, 
throughout that time of knowing this motherfucker and fucking this motherfucker, he done did that to you a lot. 15 years is a long motherfucking time. A lot. He had so many relationships 15 years back that I, I didn't even know about Mimi. I don't know about y'all, but I ain't know about none of these bitches off of um, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, Butler, Scrappy, and Bucky. And that's only because Bucky was on the Flavor of Love thing. But I didn't know none of these motherfuckers. You feel me? So... <laughs> Nobody knew she was, you know, Mary May, bitch. You know what I'm saying? And I know Mary Mays. My sister used to work for Mary Mays. So, you know what I'm saying? I know, you know, Mary May bitches. I know the company. So, she, I didn't mean, I didn't know that a bitch that has a, you know, a good company. Because the company is a great company. I'm in Florida. She got, you know, Mary Mays here. So, you know, she, she making money could be so dumb for a nigga like that. He remind me so much of Ike Turner, Mimi. So much of Ike Turner. I'm talking about from the to the whooping of a bitch ass. I am not lying. He reminds me so much of Ike Turner. And I'm pretty sure that everybody out there that watch Love and Hip Hop Atlanta could agree with me. This nigga is a snobber. He snout cocaine and he whoop these bitches asses. He let, you know, Jocelyn, she from Miami. I'm ratchet, Jocelyn ratchet. I understand Jocelyn attitude. I just don't understand her list. Her talk, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I'm like, what the fuck? But it be like that sometimes when you coming from another country and you have a you have a um an accent and you trying to start speaking English as a second language. It be like that. Some people do stutter. You know, most of the people that have accents they stutter, and most of them have them lisp because they wasn't from here. They from over there somewhere. You know what I'm saying? But you know, she reminds me so much of me because I'm from where she from. Jocelyn is. She used to pimps. She used to talk to the pimps like that. Mimi, on the other hand, she she's just so opposite. She's so corporate. So corporate. But so goddamn kindergarten in the mind when it comes to Stevie J. I mean, damn, do you need to sit in the classes with y'all daughter? What they daughter name? Asia or something? Do you need to sit in the classes with her? Learn your ABCs and your one, two, threes and your different shapes and colors and shit, bitch. Because it means like it seems like to me that you need to like not only be book smart, you need to be street smart too. And heart smart. Be heart smart. That's too much stress that your ass is carrying. For real. For real. So anyways, I didn't come here to, you know, continue to talk about this dumb bitch. I just came to say that I clocked that. On a breakfast club. How about Stevie J and the Breakfast Club yeah, yeah. is with uh, DJ Envy and Charlemagne the God. You know Charlemagne, La La Friend. The man, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I heard about the Breakfast Club, but I ain't never seen it. Okay, that. it's a uh, radio station, but right. they do record. They think yeah. they had Jocelyn and Steven on there, right? And Stevie, <laughs> look, I believe Stevie, Jocelyn, and Mimi had three so They asked, okay, first they, um, they said... You know, Charlamagne the God was calling her a man still. You know what I'm saying? He ain't never get a chance to interview her last season. Yes, so. he did. Because he had said that he, um, no, that was Ricky Smiley, my bad. That oh, yeah, that was Ricky Smiley. Smiley. Yeah, I, I had put he that said on my he page. Taking that. Yeah, yeah. Because he was saying that she was a man. Mm -hmm. Ricky Smiley was. But, anyways, <laughs> look, okay, so. So Charlamagne the God was calling her man and said, um, didn't Mimi call you man? She was like, no, me man called me no, call me no man. And he was like, Mimi know you a man though. He, he was, she was like, oh, Mimi no, I ain't no man. And then um, Stevie J was like, she definitely knows she's not a man. I clocked that one. Okay, this is what really made me believe it. Okay, second thing, they asked did they ever had a threesome. And uh, she just looked at Stevie J and she was like, you got to watch the show. That's it. And then she said, watch, um, show? watch lo uh, Love and Hill. So they gonna show it I don't know. But it's she, gonna come out soon. You see Mimi Dumbass is right there with him. Living with him. Talking about because she don't want her around. Well, baby, but she gonna be right there. Baby, that girl walked in the house last night. Called the maid. Hey, man. Yeah, but this is my thing. <laughs> Mimi, let me tell you. Mimi is one of them bitches that talk so much. But don't gonna fight. Do Cause why the fuck you gonna jump on Stevie J when you Mimi should have whooped the shit out of Jocelyn. Jocelyn tried her in her face. It yeah. wasn't no sideline dissing. It wasn't no low key storm dissing. It wasn't no shade. She right in your face. That she should have. And you in my house, bitch. Yeah. You in the, well, you know she it's Stevie throw J. Them out. She throw both of them out, though. She should've whooped Jocelyn. Yeah, but you gotta think about your child, too, because you going to jail when you whoop bitches ass. I got bail money. I got, she better, she better hire Porsche, not Porsche, uh, 
Um, Phaedra. Phaedra. <laughs> Phaedra get off. I got bail money. The bitch got, but she she will own Mary May. Is that you used to work for Mary May? She own, she own, um, Keep It Clean USA. I mean, yeah, Keep It Clean. That's, okay. You used to work for Keep It Clean? No, that's, that was Shanti, I mean, Shanti thing. Oh. She still own the company. She just don't do nothing. Oh, but, girl, I would have cleaned. I would have kept the clean. I would have cleaned. I would have cleaned up. I would have mopped. Uh, Jocelyn I ass. I would have mo- she would she would have been all over the house. I would have fucked her face up. She thinks so pretty. Bitch, you, the maid. You talking about you look good with your maid outfit on. Hey maid. Jocelyn don't be giving a fuck though. But what it is is Jocelyn do got the strength as a man. Though that bitch work out and everything. She got muscles wanna, in, in, on top of muscles. I want to be like Nene. That's why I want to be. I just want to live comfortable. I want to own my own business and have other people working on Yeah, you can do that. And I don't want to go in my mouth. I just want, I want pretty teeth. Like, the, what them things are. Like called? mine. The parcels, ain't it? Partials. Par- no, not the partials. The ones that, like, straight teeth. The dentures? No. The invisible ones? No. I have no idea. Braces? Purse, parcel, parcels or something like that. I have no idea, but anyways. But anyways, that's what um I want to say about that. Like she should have whooped her ass. I can't believe she sat there and let her say that, and then gonna jump on Stevie J. All that anger she and energy she used with Stevie J. That's who she's supposed to jump on. He sat right down there. I know. That's his baby mama. I know. That's his. But but look, she's still sitting there thinking. It could have been me though. Because I would have went to jail. Me too. She's made. <laughs> you heard me say it, bail money. Made. Shit. Bitch. And then she didn't say nothing. I would have damn so I would have called Faith here. Faith would have been on the, on the damn. Um, she'll on be a guest on Love and, love and Hip Hop. That's right. Everybody knows. Because <laughs> you know she always said. Mm-hmm. Everybody knows the only reason why she put her hands on her. Is because she mopped her ass across this goddamn floor. Mm-hmm. Shit. <laughs> For real. And then um another thing is the K Michelle and versus Boss up thing. You remember that video I showed you when K Michelle going off on that man? Yeah. And shit. What's, I like what's what you say K Michelle versus who? Boss up. That's what the name of the video called. Oh, I thought it was Cause the guy worked for Boss Up. But I think K Michelle is, is wrong only because he ain't the one who wrote it. She just saying that he worked for the people that wrote it or whatever. And he was like trying to say, you know, I fucks with you because everybody ain't gonna have the same opinion and shit. But when I say K Michelle read his ass, I love K Michelle. I, like I love her. Too. I like she the realest like bitch her. on there. Really? But she just go too far to me. Some of the really? stuff some of the stuff she go too far on. <coughs> she go too far as far as like Johnson, yeah, Johnson Johnson Miami. Don't, she don't motherfucking sugarcoat nothing and she ain't scared to talk in your face. That's what I like. I don't like people. I don't like people that talk behind your back. No, she from Miami. She Jocelyn, Jocelyn has high attitude. Cause Jocelyn say I don't need you. She told Stevie J she don't need him. She ooh, she be going off on uh, Stevie J. So man, no, he ooh. remind you of Ike Turner. Last don't Stevie J out, remind you of Ike Turner? Cause he whooped their ass. You think so? Yeah, do I think so? They already said that he whooped. The, he um be beating the shit out of me. I did not. Yeah, that was already that out. Ain't he? He act like a pimp. He act like Ike Turner. He smoked cocaine. Mm. That's what Josh did. She said it. She said it on, on the Breakfast Club. She said, I got my fur. <laughs> her uh, fur. Oh, yeah. He, gave, he got her fur. She like, eh, you got this bitch in fur? Me, that was too much, Mimi. Mimi was extra. I don't give a fuck. I know she got a son, a daughter by her, but they been fucking with each other for 50. Well, they ain't been. They ain't been together. They just known each other for 15 they been years. Fucking. But yeah, they've been fucking years. too. On and off. For 15 years? Yeah, on and off. Right. You know, because when people say that, you'll be thinking they spent that whole time together no, and he cheated. Because he was fucking with Eve and all of yeah. them. Okay. <laughs> Mimi. What I was saying? I forgot. About um, Mimi and Stevie J fucking around for 15 years. Yeah. They've been fucking around for 15 years. She should know that. I bet you her list so long. On a, on a good and yeah, bad yeah. list. Her list gotta be long. She should have. Uh, she even said it herself. Why I'm so dumb. She gave it. She even tried to almost work it out on the thing. You remember? Like at least. I don't know. I believe they were fucking too when she was staying there. Because she moved back in. I believe they fucking too. 
That's her I baby daddy. Get, I couldn't get disrespected so much. Like yeah. That, but that's how I feel about my baby daddy. He done disrespect me too much. Like, mm. you don't got a bitch pregnant and had a baby. Mm. <laughs> like, and then when you get around these bitches, you make them hoes feel like. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It seems like hoes winning. Yeah. Hoes is winning. Hoes do win. Hoes is winning. You might well this join them. You I might well join, join them. I ain't own. joining them either because I, I know another way. Just keep your fucking legs closed. If you, ain't right. fuck, if you don't fuck these niggas, you get a lot. So. Uh-huh. Please keep your legs closed. You don't got a hoe. Clink, clink. Mm-hmm. And give it to you. Give it to who you want to give it to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll be I like mean, me. I just get some head. Okay. Head on. I can get that too. <laughs> but not with try. everybody. Just with one person. I can try. Smooth clothes. Mm-hmm. And just, just start saying, or on the do is Or you can pay them. So if I want to get your money up. You know what? I was just sitting here thinking because I know T going to be watching this video. You know, because I be saying stuff like, I'm going to get hit or whatever, whatever. Uh-huh. But, he know, because I did him the same way. Yeah, he didn't he fuck just like that. Know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on, man. I never showed it myself as far as, like, relationship. Everybody made a payment on something besides Josh. That's the only one. Fredo, you know. Oh, Fredo. God, the Fredo. Best. He was the best. He was the best. Yeah, he was the best. Steve was second to the best. Cause that nigga come home, give me his whole check. You know, that's what Nuki did. Mm-hmm. You know what Nuki used to tell me, you know, twenty dollars yeah. for a half. And I used to give um Steve twenty dollars for some games, bitch. <laughs> that, that's all that nigga wanted was some games. But I used to, I used to use the, tw- the money for around the house and him yeah. some boxes and shit yeah, like that. Though. I used to, you know, I was yeah. a good wife. Though. So I, I was engaged three times, y'all. Three times. Fredo was. Huh? No, not two times. One time with Andre. Yeah, just one time. But back to that Kate Michelle thing, because I'm doing the video. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I don't think she should have. She went off on that nigga. She she wrote her all like read, bitch. But I she think- she took her anger out on Bossa or whoever wrote that. Cause somebody wrote a wrote a um, column saying that her concert was like a EBT concert. Basically, she doing a concert for the hood or something like that. You feel me? But still, what they saying, her concert This is what it is. I feel like the people that, and this is, and I speak to people that's on YouTube too. Some people on YouTube and some people even on TV, especially, um, especially, uh, King and Moore. Now for, when I say it, you're going to be like, yeah. What they do is they follow people. And most of the people that they follow is the gays. Mm-hmm. With that yes and shit, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all of all that come from the gays. Yeah. All, you know what I'm saying? I and told you that kid that, used to that hang around a lot of gay, gay people. Gay people, yeah, cause she hang around um the, like the one with uh, the red too. lipstick, um Clarence or whatever his name is with the damn red lip. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The one that had the rooster hair. Lawrence. Lawrence, yeah, Lawrence. She I hang told around him. Mama, that mama was talking about kid, you know, but she was really talking about Portia. Uh-oh. Portia don't hang around no gay. Oh, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Portia is just dumb as a don't lie, but they, this ain't about her. No this game, is, about Portia. Yeah, about the King Michelle. The man that she was cussing out, he was gay. He was gay. So that lets me know that other other people that work at Basso is gay too. Gay? You can tell. You can just tell he was gay. He, he was yeah. He was a milk of cookies. Okay, well I'm getting to it because y'all know I'm bi, so this ain't no gay bashing or nothing. It's no. just I, I, this is I know people. I just know people. You feel me? And the, and the people that's on YouTube, y'all follow us just like everybody. They, they following stupid trends and stuff, eating cinnamon and shit, and just just the dumb shit. You remember they were doing a planking and shit, just stupid. So what they doing is they trying to pretend to be, you know, they gotta get. They ever since that word ratchet came out, it's like now people are starting to separate themselves from other people when they don't know that they actually just like them motherfucking people. They ratchet in their own motherfucking way. You know what I'm saying? Cause they come to me and be like, I'm ratchet. I say it all the time. I'm ratchet. So when you say shit that is obvious, you know I'm saying it myself. I'm ratchet. Why continue to say it? You feel me? Right. So now what they doing is they trying to put it in that K Michelle ratchet. So that EBT little shit it was written by one of them motherfuckers. Them type of people. So you get what I'm saying? We got them type of people here on YouTube too. They feel like they so much better than me because they use less curse words than I do. Mm-hmm. You know, my vocabulary from since birth, uh, since birth, <laughs> my vocabulary since birth was nothing but English and curse words. 
And Trust words is my sexual language. And I love Spanish. Hmm. We learned all this. Shit. Okay. <laughs> it, so you know, I can't help how the fuck I was raised. You know what I'm saying? And it is a good thing that you can read a bit. Some people be like, "Oh my God, I wish I can read a motherfucker like you." <laughs> Damn. You remember what I told you about when she got in her first fight in in our school with the big girl? Yeah. She talked about your coochie stank or something. What she thought? <laughs> what she said? She couldn't read the girl. <laughs> and I was like, well. What did you did what you didn't like on the girl? Cause she said the girl was cute. No, this the one that um they got the baby. I mean that used to, she got a baby, but she used to talk to DJ. Uh, okay, so she she looked at Danielle and was like, DJ downgraded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So and and Danielle said she couldn't read. She don't know how to read. And I was like. It wasn't something about her that she didn't like because she was like, the girl was pretty. Danielle was giving the girl credit and everything when credit was due. She was pretty, she dressed nice or whatever. So I was like, okay, so what is all, like, was she wearing something you don't like or anything? She said, I been like, she, said she did have a headband on it. Yeah, I said, I would roll that headband. I would roll her child. Girl, who I would roll her Bitch, I would be like, I would be like, I would be like so bitch, you, 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 you ain't putting your application for team mom, bitch. Yeah. Okay. Huh? Bitch, you still in school. The motherfucker got a baby. You know what I'm saying? Hey, something that puts on pussy ass See, on See, they body. not, my little sisters, y'all seen how my little sister read that bitch from mom. From, uh, I think she was from Philadelphia. That's how much that bitch don't even matter. But when my sister read that girl on my Facebook on a video, she, she, she tell she read it so proper. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so proper. They you know, so they don't have like our, you know, mentality. No. They don't have our hood mentality. Even you know, they grew up in Miami. Yeah, they grew up in Miami too. But you know, they grew up. Mama was um, sheltered. Yeah, they they wasn't in the streets. You know what I'm saying? They was babies. So they weren't in the streets like we was. We was in the streets, goddammit. <coughs> but anyways, that's what them people that are on box up. So K Michelle took all her anger out on the bitch that wrote the uh, uh, wrote the thing, and she felt like since that nigga worked for them, then she might well just say, you know what I'm saying? Since that's who you represent, and I might well go off on your ass. She didn't even want to hear what he want to say, but I think he was actually a fan of her to after that. See what I'm saying? Like K Michelle, she go off at the wrong time. You know, you, you can go off you on see a how bitch. She did Aaron, Aaron, or Aaron. Aaron or whatever her name is, she gay. I believe she gay. I believe she really want um uh, 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 um no Mimi? no Mimi yeah her best friend Mimi yeah I believe she really want Mimi. I was saying that since season one. Really? Yes, girl. Yes, yes, yes. And then she, you see how she was like it was just sex. You just, you just one of them, them cover, them, them in the closet holes right there. When everybody know you home, you want to still feel like you not. <laughs> I feel like that's how Wanda is that's now. Hmm. You, you, in your mind, you feel like you not. You a hoe. You, you, she said it was just sex. But that's, I, I, I don't know. I wouldn't have went off on her. I'm glad they did. Um, uh, make up. I, I would, I wouldn't have went off on her because. I was surprised they made up too. And it was funny because Erica just made her laugh. Yeah. That's why. Erica, she seemed like she was a good person, but you just can't trust her around your man. Oh, Erica? Yeah. She one of them types, like I said, that, you know, everybody else. Erica? Is. Not Erica. Um, oh, Erica. Erin. What's her name? Erin. Whatever her name is. The, the dyke. <laughs> She's a dyke bitch. Yes. I ain't, I ain't yeah. Dyke, but Jocelyn the dyke bitch too, huh? Jocelyn well, she, should hook up. Jocelyn is bisexual. And Mimi, cause Jocelyn and Mimi fuck. I don't give a fuck what you I say. Hope it come out. It's, I, she said watch I the hope show. It come out. She said watch the show. I'm gonna put the link of the interview on the bottom of this video. But she said watch the show. Yes. So, anyways, I think I'm gonna get the fuck up off of here. I'm gonna have a video for this makeup look coming up next. NBsCloset.com. I'm gonna put the link below. NBsCloset.com. You can save 10%. I'm gonna put the promo code at, at the bottom of the video as well, so you can save 10%. It only take up the one or two weeks for them to make it. Eight words are free. They got all different types of colors, all different types of fonts, all different types of designs. I just chose this one. So go to NBsCloset.com. And I would um, put the promo code below and everything. This is the girl. Yes. Bye. Not real hard. It's plain and simple. Not real hard. It's plain.